Tell Thank me your name, bitch. I'm calling you ass. What's going on, YouTube? It's Ash checking in with the gang, 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 and I'm back with another freaking video, you guys. And you guys, I have a freaking special guest. What's up? My name <laughs> is Wardell Wilson. I am a recording artist, producer, songwriter, engineer, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, let's get into this mother freaking video. Okay, so you want to tell my subscribers who you are, what you're about, and all of that? Absolutely, and so I am a recording artist from Oklahoma City, you know, Loud City, <laughs> and been making music about 13 years now, and so, yeah. So how did you begin music? Like? So the way that it started was in middle school, you know, at middle school lunch table, people rapping and all this stuff. Extra, yep. And I was extra, extra, because what I would do is cheat. I would go home and write my raps. And so when people would freestyle, I'd have this amazing rap. And they're like, whoa, this is way better. And I'm like, yeah. I practice. Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone inspire you, or it just came natural as, like, rapping or whatever? So, musically, a little bit of both. Like, it, my mom would, when we grew up, my mom was always into, like, Broadway musicals and stuff. So like, you know, Phantom of the Opera and stuff like that. So she that's would play that. Help, and that's where it started because I was like these sounds and, and different things like that. And then my dad was more into like the uh, gospel and stuff. So the spiritual side of it. Hmm. And that's kind of where the inspiration came from. And then uh, started writing rap and stuff. And then I joined band and played the trumpet. So that taught me how to that's dope. read music. And then uh, eventually in high school, played a little piano. And then once you play piano with music today, you can kind of turn that into. Listen, so you know how to, I want to, that's my top line. I really want to learn how to play piano. Mm -hmm. Like, was that hard for you or what uh, age were you? So when I started piano, this was my junior year. So I was, you know, like 17. And oh, uh, wow. it was just, so you can, there's two ways to kind of learn piano. You can go the organic way where you do sheet music. Or you can go what I call like the, I guess, gospel way where like you just listen to stuff and learn basic chords. Mm -hmm. That way is more fun. So Yeah, that I'm gonna have to do it that way for sure. What keeps you motivated? Like in this during especially during this time, mm -hmm. what keeps you motivated? Because a lot of people don't have peace right now because mm -hmm. the no, new normal is wearing masks or whatever the case yes. may be. So yes. what keeps and you so, motivated? Well initially I used to be mot honestly, I used to be motivated by like revenge and these negative energies like oh. people saying you can't do this and I gotta prove them wrong as yeah. I got older though and especially now with what's going on I ended up getting more motivated by love like there's people who when someone believes in you and really believes in you you have an obligation to not let them down wow yeah I see I think that's with everyone we Okay, a lot of people are going to be like, you can't do this and that. We feed off that usually, mm -hmm. but feeding off positive, positivity, I feel like that'll push you a little bit more, you know? Exactly. And it's it's just a better space to be in because you're not always like, because not everyone's a hater. And so when you <laughs> eventually you're going to run out of haters. So it's like, I need more <laughs> negative energy, you know? Yeah. I want to know what are your goals? What are your plans by the end of this year? Like, what do you want to accomplish? End of this year, I want to be the biggest artist and producer in Oklahoma. Okay, that plain and simple. Plain and simple. And I am going to be the biggest YouTuber Let's in Oklahoma. Go. Um, how do you feel about this virus? Like, a lot of people, like, how is your mental with that? I'm not going to lie to you. It's. I have to stay busy so I don't dwell on it. Because if you dwell on it, you're going to just sink into a depression. For sure. Mm -hmm. Like, because some days I'm like, is this our new normal? Like, what yes. the heck? Especially, it really hit me when people started wearing masks. Like, when you, when it, about a month ago, when you walked out and you're like, oh, this is, this is really real. Yes, because like, everyone, like, literally, I went to the mall yesterday Everyone had a mask on at the door. They're greeting you with sanitizer and mask if you don't have it. Like, this is insane to me. Like, it I'm not is. used to this. And nobody, and it came out of nowhere as far as like, and what I really don't like is there's a lot of, uh, there's lack of leadership because we don't know. It's like half of the people are like, wear a mask. The other half don't wear a mask. Half of them's like, well, you can't get it if you're out in the sun. And it's, we're like in the wild west. We don't know what information is right or not. 
seriously also i went to the nail shop yesterday and there was no type of social distancing no one like barely anyone had mask on and i had forgot my mask i walked right out because we were like this Dang. like yeah it, i'm like no 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 <laughs> i don't know how serious this is because like you said some people think it's serious and yep. some like what the heck and it's just lack of leadership and i'm like not to throw the president under the bus. I wonder if there was a different commander if this would be on this level. But I digress. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We not going to get up. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to get into that part. Um, did this give you a time to be more creative with your music? Because you did say you dropped that music video, which they saw the reaction. So. Hey, thanks for y'all watching. Uh, absolutely, yeah. though. Like, it, because you can't really do anything else. And in all honesty, <laughs> I was a introverted extrovert anyway mm -hmm. so yeah the first couple of weeks i was like oh this is great i can just stay here and make music all day after a couple of months though you're like i kind of want to go somewhere yeah you know? at least some some out to eat something mm -hmm. but i am grateful not like i guess that this happened because i have like grown yeah in a way it's just like uh i guess what's I the know. best positive that you got out of this out of this, um, I've been growing followers. Also, I've been crunching down on like my goals. I've been redoing my, you know, goal board. Also, been reaching out to other artists. So it gave me a chance to actually appreciate what I have. Same thing. Like it, people are either this is gonna exalt people or this is gonna lower them. So this is showing who you are. That's what I meant to say. See, <laughs> I needed this guy. <laughs> have any other music launching like any other visuals that I need oh to know absolutely about? uh it there's nothing i, I don't want to give any names yet because there's a couple of different ways to go but uh kind of to go with that so simp the video that you have was the third version of that hmm. like the first video we filmed was just a basic video and it wasn't bad but it was like this doesn't fit the vision. And right, it's, it's, the vibe It's important of the song. why you gotta follow your vision. And mm -hmm. shout out to the director Ricky Wilson or Rick, well, Ricky Henderson, almost Ricky Henderson, <laughs> uh, and the boys at ARNT because they're the ones who you know did filming and stuff like that and were patient with me. But uh, yeah, yeah. So the first video didn't really, you know, it wasn't really the vision. The second video was a little bit better, but it was like this still isn't how I feel. Mm -hmm. And the third one was the quickest. We shot that thing in like. 30 minutes downtown we got lucky nobody was there it was dead i'm like what that bike scene we got super lucky with that because we just walked and then you just see a bunch of bikes so i was like hey this is it literally i'm just like so how did y'all come about like what made you go downtown and film that so the initially like the idea that i had was i was like i just want something i don't care about regular videos and I, i'm a weird person so it's like people need to embrace their weirdness and just mm -hmm. being vulnerable and goofy exactly yeah. and so i was mm -hmm. like we're only gonna you know show my face at the end just follow me i'm gonna get my airpods on and just follow me so he had no idea what was gonna happen so like i said ricky anderson he did his thing because like i was just i would walk and then just stop and dance and granted he can't hear the music Oh. So he's probably like this dude looks crazy. Yeah, but he I mean he followed through with it and we it worked out. Responding to what you just said you can be you like that's what yes. I have That's why I have a problem with reactions um, Reacting to like mainstream because everything is the same. I don't mm -hmm. always want to see but in my face you pop. Pop. I give her a dick. dick. I take a bit so, so. Do a bit. face You know, I want you you can be you you don't have to act like all these other artists. No, it's annoying. And then people think you oh have to God. either be that or you have to be this superly deep, other heavy version. And it's like, or you can just be the you that's somewhere in the middle. Exactly. I don't agree with being like everyone else. It's just to be yourself, mm -hmm. but be the, the best version you can be. Be like the super, the super you. Right. So I'm glad you said that because I always have problem with reactions. I'll just be like, this is the same reaction I had with the other <laughs> artist. Just but I'm like, okay. Yeah. I'm That's one thing it. I promise you. Any <laughs> visuals I do is you're going to get something. You're going to get something visual. You're going to get something rent. You're going to get something other right. than that. Yeah. Right. Well, is there anything else you would like to say? I think you cover literally everything. Hey. Anything you would like to say to them? You want to give your social media? Yes. So you can follow <laughs> me YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all the other ones at Wardell Wilson, W A R D A L E Wilson. 
And yeah. uh, like I said, I got some new music coming. I'm still gonna push Simp because it's it's still fresh and doing things, but I got some new works coming. Listen, um, yeah. he got views. But anyways, <laughs> you guys. We're working on it. I will link all his freaking links down in the description box below for you guys. Also, be sure to check out his freaking newest visual, Simp. Y'all already know I did a reaction to it. Whenever he drops more music, I will let you guys know. Yeah. Make sure you guys like this video if you like it. Share and subscribe to my mother freaking channel. Hit that post notification bell so you can know whenever I freaking post. And your girl is out. I came by your luck, it's girl, you are the man. I don't know what's worse because you heard a nigga. Should I cut you out myself, but is it worth the feeling? I don't know no worse the feeling. Body back and made me hurt some nigga. Fuck around and made me hurt a nigga. Girl, you toxic, but you serve a nigga. Curvy body, she gon' work a nigga. Why, 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 why? She wanna fuck me to the Stein and Rihanna. So music, old school and trap nigga music. Girl, you my demon, but still you amuse me. My past got me timid, but girl, I won't lose you. Girl, you ain't been around in a minute. Let's just say.